Hello everyone, I am Al Hamid and this is the Zoombit tutorial series. Finally, today we are going to learn how to make the Zoombit moving around. So, come and join me with your Zoombit guidebook and go to chapter 4. In this chapter, we will learn how to work with the DC motors and get Zoombit moving. Before we start programming Zoombit to move, let's check to make sure that we have wired up the Zoombit correctly. Make sure to connect the wires of the DC motor this way. For motor 1, the black wire will be connected to M1A and the red wire will be connected to M1B. For the second motor, the red wire will be connected to M2A and the black wire will be connected to M2B. Alright, now let's press on the buttons and check the spinning direction of the wheels. If we press on M1A, we should see the left wheel moving counterclockwise. If we press on M1B, we should see the left wheel moving clockwise. And if we press on M2A, we should see the wheel on the right side moving clockwise. And if we press on M2B, we should see the right wheel moving counterclockwise. So, if the wheels are not spinning in the direction as shown with the animated arrows, you need to check and correct the connection of the DC motors. Now in case your zoom bit doesn't move once you press the buttons, here are two things to do. Firstly, make sure to clamp the exposed wire lead, and not the insulator. Number 2. Look at Recabit board. If the LED indicator for low is blinking, try to replace the batteries with new ones. Very well, the first thing that we need to do after creating a new project is that we need to add a zoom bit extension. If you don't know how to do that, you may go back and watch the previous tutorial. Alright, so we will begin by turning on the LED matrix on the micro bit. And this time, we will make our own shape or icon. Go to the basic category and snap this block over here. And choose which LED you want to turn on. Alright, go to the input category and drag three of this block. One, two, and three. The second block, make it for button B. And the third block, make it for both button A and B. Alright? Go to zoom bit extension or category and Snap this block into button A pressed. Change the direction to be to the right side and the speed will remain the same, 128. And then we will make a delay for half a second. So go to the basic category, go down over here and drag this block into here. Change this value to be 500 millisecond, which means half second. Then go back to the zoom bit extension and drag this block over here. Now once we click or we press on A button, the zoom bit will turn right at 128 speed for half a second and then it will stop. We will do the same thing for button B, but this time we want the zoom bit to turn to the left side. So, turn it to the left. Delay for half second. And drag the break block. And once we press on both A and B button, we want the zoom bit to move forward. So, come back in here. And drag this block into here move forward and we want that to happen for one second 
go to the basic category and drag this block and make it one second and again use the break block at the end all right now let's flash the code to zoom bit and try it out together all right now let's see what will happen once we press the button a nice the zoom bit is turning to the right side for half second let's try pressing on b button great it's moving to the left side also for half second what if we pressed both of a and b buttons together it's moving forward for one second all right so before we end this tutorial from here you can always change the speed of the movement and also here you can change the delay time you may change this value and see what could happen all right and also if we go to the zoom bit extension you will notice we have this block and this one basically will enable us to set a specific speed for each wheel all right so let's focus on this block over here what do you think will happen if we set the speed of the left wheel to be 100 and the wheel on the right side to be 150 let's download it and check out together Did you notice that? Basically, the zoom bit will always steer toward the side of the wheel that's spinning at lower speed. In this example, the zoom bit will move forward, but it will steer to the left over the time because the left wheel is spinning at a lower speed. The accuracy and consistency of zoom bit's movements can also be affected by its battery level and also the condition of the surface it's on. Zoom bit might move slower when its battery level is low and when the ground is too soft or uneven. All right guys, we reached the end of this tutorial. You did a great job making the zoom bit moving. If you encounter any problems, you may reach us on the Telegram group. We will be there to help you. And for now, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And until we meet again, keep learning and have fun.